Hi, my name is Thorsten Lang. I'm the founder and director of the Reiki Academy in London, Heos author for Reiki. And today I would like to talk about a topic that most people who know me better would love that I am talking about. It is routine, or in fact, creating a daily routine. And there's this one thing that I really don't like that doesn't really comply with my personality is having a routine. I always try something new. I always try a new dish in the kitchen. I am creative and I just love to, um, uh, to just embrace something new all the time. But I did realize that I wouldn't be where I am today in my practice with Reiki had it not been for a daily routine. This is the one foundation for bringing Reiki into our everyday life, for making Reiki a lifestyle rather than using it just as a complementary therapy. And I can't really tell you how you should create your daily routine. This is something very individual, but I can tell you how I do my daily routine. And it starts with this, <laughs> my phone. I set the alarm for half an hour before I would normally need to get up. And then I set it again for half an hour later, just in case I fall asleep again which occasionally happens. I, if I'm really tired, I might just kind of nod off for a few minutes in between, but at least I know that I will still get up on time. So once the alarm rings first thing, I switch it off and still stay in bed. I just can't get out of bed that quickly in the morning, so I just stay there. You may want to get out and may want to sit down or sit cross-legged on a meditation cushion or a yoga mat. It doesn't really matter. The important thing is to connect to Reiki. And I connect to Reiki. And I wait a moment until I feel this connection. And then I have my routine of placing my hands just on my body and doing a self-treatment. In different positions, I'm placing my hands and I feel the connection. Occasionally, I can't really move my hands somewhere else. It was very interesting. A few months ago, one morning I woke up and I was extremely sleepy and I just somehow managed to get to my uh, chest and then I think I nodded off again. Anyway, when the alarm rang again, I was finally awake and um, I looked at my hands and they were still at this very place on my chest. And I thought, that's interesting. What's there? The heart. So obviously your heart needed soothing. And uh, yes, it, um, I've, um, well, I'd um, just uh, met somebody I thought was uh, rather nice and that wasn't reciprocated. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why my heart needed soothing, why my heart needed Reiki. And this is how I start the day. I just give myself Reiki for whatever it is needed. Then after this, I place my hands again in Gasho and I recite the Reiki principles. Just for today, do not be angry, do not worry, be grateful, work with diligence and be kind to others. And I take a moment to listen and sense inside, am I angry that I let go of it or I try? Am I worried? I give my worries to Reiki. I look for something I can be grateful for and feel this gratitude inside. I realize that I can make such a difference working with diligence and I set my intention to be kind to other people and to serve and help other people. And then I start my day. And I feel that this daily routine is really, really important. Occasionally, I feel that at lunchtime, so much had been, or by lunchtime, so much had been going on that I need a little bit of a top up. So I just sit for a few minutes, just place my hands in Gasho and feel Reiki. Or again, I give myself Reiki, or I just quickly recite the Reiki principles. There are many other ways. You may use more meditation. You may use a practice called Hatsurei Ho, which I look at in a different video. There are different ways to connect to Reiki, but one thing is essential to regularly connect to Reiki. And not just quickly, to set some time apart and really deeply let Reiki 
heal your body, heal your life, and fill your entire energy field and being with energy, with this highest, finest vibration in the universe, with light and love. This is, for me, the key to not just practicing Reiki, but becoming Reiki and living Reiki. I hope you found this helpful and please like, subscribe and leave a comment.